And now I want to track what's happening. I want to track what's happening with my project. So what does the free template give to track what's happening on the project? Well, well if we look at the home page to begin with, we now have six tasks that are late. I can see the finish date of the project is April 12th, and the last time it was changed. I, I can see that this is a very colorful project. They're not all green, so it's not all good. Uh, I can see the uh, visual summary, open issues, overdue items, and of course you can configure this dashboard as well. That's a pretty good uh, start. I can click here on the home page to project schedule, and, and I can actually see the schedule uh, of the project uh, as a glance. I can click here to project status and I can see a very good status report. Now all of this information is automatically being fed from the site um, from, from, from the first entry. Um, I can also do configuration, you know, so I can for example say something like, you know, I, I want to change the site now that I'm up and running. Maybe a very simple change might be I want to share this site with more people so I can get more people involved and collaborating and working on the project. So in summary, when I'm tracking the project as a manager, I click on the home page, follow this breadcrumb, tra this breadcrumb trail all along, and I get a very good sense of what's happening. But I can also click under execute and control work. And I can look at the work on the project, because it's more than me working on the project, so I can see, for example, the overdue project tasks. And there are six, as we can see here. Who has them? When are they due? I can click work due soon, like what's upcoming. I can keep clicking along here to open work, closed work, and very importantly, to work that's not assigned as a project manager. If it's not assigned, I need to kind of think that through. So I've got a very good work dashboard. Now, having done that tracking, of course, I can talk to people as well, but having done the tracking, I have a good sense of what I need to do. So now I want to replan. So, for example, I can click these three items as done. Uh, I can go into edit mode. Um, this task was deferred. I can just move it to in progress. This one was in progress. I can move it to deferred. So I can change very easily here, as you can imagine, the task names, details, dates, uh, statuses, and assignments in, in one quick and easy go. So let's assume I've done all of that, and I've, based on what I've tracked, I then do the replanning in this one place. Now, what I now want to do is I now want to add a status report. And as our Brightwork customer says, status reports should be able to add in less than three minutes or people won't do it. So I think, you know, I think overall we're green on this project. Um, well, actually, no. Overall, we're yellow. Time is, is also yellow, but cost is green. So yellow, yellow, green. Uh, I'm going to skip scope indicator. Week ending. So this is for the week ending uh, the 30th of March. What phase are we in? We're in work the project phase. What's the current finish date? You know, the time indicator is yellow. The folks wanted it by the end of May. I think we're now looking like the end of June. That's going to raise some flags. And we're about 50, well, we're more like 30% there. Project status comments, you know, and, and um, what do I think, you know, I'm not going to spend too long typing. I'll say nervous. <laughs> and obviously, you put in some more color commentary. Major accomplishments. Now, obviously, I would do more. I'm going to say lots. Um, major activities planned. Well, I can confidently say see whoop, task list or see the work list. And I now do stop editing. And, and I can actually see all the status reports here coming up on screen. So I can see the different ones that I had over time. So I can track the history of those. But if I go to my home page, uh, I now see that I have three late tasks rather than six. I see my overall indicator of the project. My traffic light has changed automatically, of course. And, and I've got my tasks uh, by status updated and so on.